Red Network, the date, the 12th of January, 2019. We got an interesting uh, bulletin from the Stetson Kennedy Foundation via the Orlando Sentinel. If you recall, uh, the Orlando Sentinel was a a basic uh, starting point for our coverage of Trevon Martin, the murder of Trevon Mart- Martin, the Floridian that was uh, killed, brutally murdered in uh, Florida. But this is the Groblin Four get justice after 70 years uh, later, pardon approval uh, for four uh, African American men. Let me just start this off here. Uh, this is from the Orlando uh, Sentinel. Number of people here. The contact uh, reporter Stephen Haddock. Uh, Ryan Gillespie and uh, Beth Kassab. Anyway, uh, nearly 70 years ago, after a young uh, white uh, housewife said she was kidnapped and raped by four African-American men near Lake County Circus City of uh, Groveland, uh, Florida, Clemency Board on uh, Florida's Clemency Board, Granted pardons, pardons to the uh, men who uh, whose lives are ruined by a uh, racist criminal justice system. Members of the Groblin Four, uh, Samuel Shepard, uh, Walter Irving, Charles Greenlee, and Ernest Thomas erupted. These are family members in applause when the meeting ended and hugging and congratulating each other. It is a weight lifted, it's a cloud lifted, it is a dignity of being a uh, green leaf restored, it is the uh, shame taken away. It's uh, being uh, let out of prison for a life that has plagued our family for all of these years, that's Carol uh, Greenlee uh, Crawley. It's uh, being uh, relieved and not of being able to say that you are a green leaf, uh, it's just so overwhelming. It's like a waking up out of a nightmare, out of a terrible dream. The most dramatic of moments in the hearing was Bibley Robinson. She is a cousin of a shepherd, uh, turned to accuser uh, Norma uh, Paget, now 86, uh, sitting in a wheelchair and proclaimed the man's innocent. You all are liars, she said. In a grammatic fashion, no doubt about it. This is Paget's first public comment outside the uh, courtroom in uh, nearly 70, uh, seven decades or 70 years of what happened uh, to her. She told the clemency board, I'm a victim of that night. I was 17 years old and uh, 
This uh, never left my mind, she said. Paget said she kept quiet for years because she worried that uh, something uh, might happen to her sons. Now she worries about her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But uh, you all don't know what kind of horror I've been through all these years, Paget uh, said. I'm uh, begging you all not to give them a pardon because they uh, done it. Despite those pleas, the board, uh, led by newly sworn in Governor Ron DeFunis, quickly voted to pardon the men who were uh, who are all uh, deceased. I'm proud of what uh, my mama did, and uh, she spoke clearly. Paget's son, uh, Sonny Upshaw, said in a text when asked for his reaction to the decision, I hope they understand her. Paget and her husband, Willie, said the four men approached them on July the 16th, 1949. On a dark stretch of uh, near, uh, a road near uh, Okahop, Oka, Homker, or something, uh, where the couple's car had broken down at first, the men helped. Then uh, they hit uh, Willie Paget, took his wallet, and Paget said the uh, four uh, put Norma Paget in uh, their car and drove away, raped her in uh, the back seat. Uh, she told the police, "My mother." Don't lie, Upshaw said. Well, I suppose that's uh, one of those things. Anyways, the case was documented The Devil in the Grove. That was a 19, excuse me, that was a 2013 Pulitzer Prize winning book by Gilbert King and the Groveland uh, Four, the uh, sad uh, sequel of uh, of a legal uh, lynching by uh, Gary uh, Kosua. Steve uh, Shepard, excuse me, and Urban, both 22, were best friends. They're from Globe and were beaten along with Greenlee, uh, 16, in the jail after their arrest. Thomas, 26, a friend of Greenlee's, was shot and killed uh, by a posse as he fled to the Panhandle days after the alleged crime. Three years later, McCall uh, shot uh, Irving and uh, Shepard as he drove them, drove them from prison in... Uh, Rainford uh, to Lake County before they were set to stand trial uh, for a second time after the first conviction was overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court, which would tell you there was something rotten in Denmark. McCall uh, claimed the men uh, tried to escape, but uh, Irvin, who survived the shooting, said McCall forced them out from, uh, them, uh, out from uh, the car and uh, shot them point blank. Greenlee was not included in the second trial because as the only defendant who received a life sentence would have been a death uh, sentence at the first trial, he chose not to appeal. Defunis, the uh, Republican uh, former uh, congressman who was sworn in on Tuesday as, of course, governor, said uh, before Christmas that he would take up the case in Congress. He uh, represented a portion of Lake. The new governor and other officials uh, focused on uh, wrongdoing in the case by law enforcement and the court system rather than question the uh, validity of Paget's story. I really believe in the principle of the Constitution getting a fair shake, Defuna said on uh, Friday. I think uh, this is a way uh, was uh, carried out uh, a miscarriage of justice after all five elected constitutional officials, uh, including uh, Lake County, the sheriff there, uh, Peyton uh, Grinnell, Wrote a letter to the funeral last month calling uh, for exoneration and vindication of uh, Shepard, Irving, uh, Green, Lee, and uh, Thomas. The uh, Lake County uh, property appraiser, Carrie Baker, a Lightroom resident of the county, urged the board on Friday to grant the parole on behalf of the uh, constitutional uh, officials of uh, Lake County. Governor Rick Scott was asked to, uh, he's now Senator Scott, to grant a pardon in the case after the legislature apologized to the men's family. That was in 2017, a year after Groveland and the Lake County governments apologized, but Scott never brought the case before the clemency board. He told the uh, Tampa Bay uh, Times this week that the Paget family never lobbied him on the case. The facts are still being uh, given when he left office, he lied. The, uh, the woman knows those boys were... Uh, Killed for nothing, uh, said Irving, uh, 86, of Miami, who attended her brother's trial. Common sense uh, would know that those boys didn't uh, rape nobody. 
a pardon by the clemency board uh, for Gibbs' guilt uh, from convictions. Technically, only two of the men, Greenleaf and Irving, were eligible because Ernest Thomas was killed before he could stand trial and Samuel uh, a shepherd was shot dead uh, by McCall after the first conviction was overturned, but the board extended the pardon to all four as a symbolic uh, gesture. We applaud this. Among the most compelling evidence uh, that the crime never happened, the FBI uh, obtained reports by the uh, offer of the devil in the grove through a freedom of information an FBI report, the uh, act request reveals statements to FBI agents by Norma Paget that contradicted her trial testimony. One witness, uh, Lawrence uh, Butorf, uh, was the first to see Paget after the alleged attack and told prosecutors that she told him she was uh, kidnapped but never mentioned being raped. Butorf uh, also said that she told him she couldn't identify her attackers. The prosecution withheld the information from the defense. Butorp testified at uh, Irving's second trial. Paget changed her story and she told him uh, the details about the attack, the medical uh, report by the doctors who examined uh, Paget after the alleged crime did not uh, show conclusive evidence that she was raped and was not uh, turned over to the accused men's defense team. Charles Greenlee was already in custody of law enforcement when the alleged attack took place after he uh, was found carrying a pistol without a license, according to a King's research. Jess Hunter, the prosecutor in the case, wrote a letter to then-Governor uh, uh, Leroy Collins uh, admitting that he had doubts about uh, Wallace Urban's guilt and urged him to uh, commute his life's... Uh, his, uh, Sentenced from death to life, Collins uh, commented in, uh, excuse me, Collins, the governor, commuted the uh, sentence in 1954. There was also a uh, complicit uh, local press, which was quick to, quick to slide, uh, side, side with McCall, they said too, brand of justice that was often dispensed in the Jim Crow South. In 1949, the Supreme Court overturned uh, the conviction a unanimous opinion not only assaulted King, uh, Lake County's mistreatment of the accused, but also biased coverage in the local newspaper, including the Sentinel, then known as the, or the Orlando Morning Sentinel. The justice called it the uh, trial, but a legal gesture to uh, register a verdict, verdict already dictated by the press and, and uh, public opinion it generated in the NAACP appealed for donations to the legal fund with a pamphlet citing the notorious uh, global and uh, Florida rape frame up and a uh, morning a sentinel editorial cartoon of four uh, electric chairs on the caption no compromise historians and authors have theorized that Paget and her husband whom she divorced in 1958 and died uh, years later came up with the story of the rape to explain away uh, the volatile relationship that on that night left uh, Norma uh, alone on a dark uh, stretch of road. King reported his book that Irving and uh, Shepard did not stop that night to help Paget with a broke down car. Shepard uh, got into a fight with Willie Paget after uh, he made a racist remark and evidently uh, Shepard and uh, Irving uh, drove off. By morning, uh, Wilmer and Willie Paget told police the four men robbed them and abducted, abducted uh, and raped her. Whether the story was true or not, the accusation, quick accusation, excuse me, uh, quickly uh, spiraled beyond the control of a 17-year-old girl who was all of a sudden on the pressure of her community, a powerful sheriff. Within hours of the claim made by Paget, a racist mob gathered. From across the central of Florida and burned and looted the home of the Smith family and indiscriminately fired shots in other homes and businesses, uh, driving many of Groveland's uh, African-American families away, some for good, the KKK, littered the streets with uh, pamphlets and a governor called the National Guard to help keep peace. Lake County uh, was far alone in its struggle uh, 
with racist uh, tensions, but the uh, case quickly became immediately linked uh, with Groveland, uh, where at least uh, two of the accused lived, uh, including where homes were uh, set ablaze. Groveland and Lake County officials have uh, long been uncomfortable with the association. Today, uh, Groveland's historic museum contains no mention of the uh, uh, case. The uh, Lake County uh, Historical Museum in uh, Tarez, I think is how you pronounce that, which uh, once served as a jail and courthouse for the men that were beaten and tried, as a photo of the free men, uh, though McCall are known for his brutality as sheriff, is uh, cropped from the picture. The tribute uh, wasn't added until last year, crying for justice. Aaron and Newman, 57, a nephew of Ernest Thomas, and became uh, entangled uh, with the case in recent years. He provided a photo of the man. He said his, uh, is his uncle the first such uh, photo ever published, according to historians. My grandmother uh, said uh, she believes, along with my mother, that uh, he had nothing to do with that. This is from Newman, a foreman correction officer in New York. Her thing was that he was in the wrong place and under his name was uh, at the wrong time. His grandmother owned uh, the Groveland area by uh, Blue Flame, which uh, was shot at uh, by uh, the mob after uh, the rape allegation. His family left uh, Lake County there after he finished this up. My dad uh, left her and uh, they uh, sat on the couch and spoke. As Via Shepard uh, told uh, the Sentinel of the encounter, she first reported uh, by King, the Atlanta magazine, uh, in the Atlant- Atlantic magazine, excuse me. She said dad uh, came to apologize and uh, said it never happened. This is Vina uh, Shepard, the uh, niece of uh, Sam Shepard, said Paget apologized to Sam Shepard's brother during a brief counter 20 years ago. He died uh, years after his release, apparently of natural causes. On his first trip back to Groblin, uh, Greenlee died uh, in uh, at the age of uh, 78 in 2012. A last-minute uh, spray, uh, a la- uh, excuse me, a last-minute stay uh, spared uh, Irving's life and his sentence was commuted. He was a pod in 1968 after spending uh, 20 years in prison and lives in uh, and lived in Miami near Irving. She helped him uh, find a house and taught him how to ride the city buses, but uh, she said he was a, it was uh, difficult for her brother she knew uh, growing up in Groveland. I knew he was angry and uh, there. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of backtracking this uh, story here a bit. And sometimes you miss things. Uh, back to Irving here. Irving, uh, the uh, sister of, uh, of Walter, uh, Irving, uh, said that she carried her own... Uh, guilt over uh, his involvement in the case. She returned to Glowin after uh, he returned, excuse me, after serving in World War II because uh, she married James Shepard who happened to be the brother of Sam Shepard when he was 16. This was the only reason he came home and she said while uh, setting uh, set on her uh, walker in uh, her Miami living room. She didn't want to see me uh, at uh, 16 go down the wrong road. Soon after he was arrested and charged with the crime, Urban remembered visiting her brother on death row. His head was shaved, and he cried. He said to my mother, Mother, don't let them put me in a, in a hole. She said it was very close. A few minutes later, uh, Stay spared his life, and, of course, he was pardoned uh, in 1968 after spending. He was in uh, prison for 20 years. But she said he was a, uh, different from the brother she knew growing up there. So, in other words, he uh, was out, exonerated. Um, and uh, Shepard said her uh, mother told her that Paget stopped by their home in uh, Claremont uh, not long before uh, James Shepard died. Back in the 40s, James Shepard's family farm uh, 
um, boarded of that of Paget's uh, family. My dad uh, let her in, and uh, they sat on the couch, and they spoke. Uh, this is from uh, Vina Shepherd of the encounter, which was first reported uh, by King in the Atlantic. So this is a long uh, story here of uh, what happened in this case. I'm just going to pinch this on. The reason I will pinch it on the uh, show is so we can get the... Uh, information that the Orlando Sun uh, has has put forward. This is a very, very important uh, case and uh, one that uh, in the annals of uh, Florida injustice has finally some of the light has uh, been uh, shed here and it shows the uh, sheriff here and we'll put this up of uh, the uh, county uh, At the scene, uh, supposedly, uh, after he'd shot someone. Uh, let's see, the scene which he uh, shot uh, Sam Shepard. And I'm assuming that's showing Sam Shepard on the ground uh, in this uh, particular uh, photo. This one a little bit longer than normal, but it's sometimes uh, very important to get the historic uh, substance of what has really occurred. And a picture here of uh, Vera Shepard. And also a picture of uh, Thomas uh, Greenlee, the son of uh, Charles Greenlee. And a picture of uh, Sam Shepard that he came from the military. And we have a number of pictures here of Ernest Thomas, uh, who was uh, shot uh, hundreds of times uh, in... uh, or when the armed posse went after him. So some of the things that happened here in this story. We'll appinge this story nonetheless. Let me just uh, quickly uh, move on here uh, to uh, Real Clear. And we have Uncle Carl Rove coming up also in this broadcast. This is uh, from a PPP. It's supposedly a Democrat leading a poster out of North Carolina. This is Trump versus Elizabeth Warren. It's tied up at 46-46. This is in North Carolina, incidentally. Trump versus uh, Beto O'Rourke. Uh, Trump by one over Beto. Trump versus uh, Joe Lunchbox Biden. Biden up by five. Trump versus uh, Senator Harris in California is tied up. Senator Sanders uh, versus Trump. Uh, Sanders is 48 to 45. Interesting. Twitter King Booker. Uh, Trump has a uh, one uh, on uh, Twitter King uh, Booker. One point lead on Twitter. Let me just get this out. Tom Jensen is here, uh, normal. The uh, looks of uh, battleground once again for 2020s North Carolina. Uh, voters in the state are closely divided on D.J. Trump, but split uh, nearly against him, 46% approving of him and 50% disapproving. And in matchup with six possible Democratic candidates, which means uh, nothing. Donald Trump's not very popular in uh, North Carolina. That's according to uh, Dean uh, Debon, the president of public policy polling after winning the state by uh, four points. I'd say just four points. Usually uh, someone like that would uh, lead by more than that. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, some with a name uh, recognition in the 80s, Biden uh, Led and we already put that out, and Harris and so forth and so on. Ray Cooper uh, started out with a favorable, uh, as a favor for re-election, 44% uh, approved the job he's doing to 35% disapprove. Not very high, this is Ray Cooper. Pat uh, McCrory, uh approval rating was under the water at 41 and uh, 45 uh and in January, uh, Bebb or Purdue had uh, 33 and 45. Cooper is the only setting official with a positive rating in the state right now. Um, Trump's uh, negative approval rating, Richard Barr came anyway, 33, 33. Not very much there. Uh, favorable for real, favor re-election. This is Ray, uh, Roy Cooper. Sorry, I don't want to call him Ray Cooper. 
needlessly a rematch with Pat uh, McCory uh, would uh, likely once again uh, be a competitive. This was a uh, poll of uh, 750 registered voters from January 4th to January 7th. The margin of error is roughly uh, 3.6 with a 79% participation rate. Land lines and mobile lines were all there. A massive snowstorm is moving through the uh, nation. I thought we would put this up. This is uh, from Reuters. It's to create havoc over the central part of the country and extend into the mid-Atlantic. The storm uh, heaped up to 16 inches of snow. Um, likely in a western Missouri around St. Louis. To the east, it could get uh, 6 inches. Developing Kansas, Arkansas. And uh, up to four inches of snow in uh, Washington, D.C. Well, it won't last very long in Washington, D.C. But anyway, it's kind of the system of moves eastward. Uh, it will hand off a second coastal storm on Sunday. Uh, they could bring uh, two to uh, four inches. That's five to ten uh, centimeters of snow in Washington, D.C. Nothing uh, big there. Now, this is from the Washington to the Washington Post. Government shut down may depress a job growth. Uh, the numbers that are, are uh, furloughed or unemployed that hasn't come out. Partial shutdown, uh, 500,000 plus jobs in January lift the unemployment rate above uh, 4%. Could easily do that. Uh, there are 800,000 plus of workers off. The Labor Department, which has not been affected by the slowdown, but the Bureau of uh, Statistics has uh, surveys uh, employees and households. This month, the pay period for most federal workers includes the week of the 12th running uh, from um, January 6th to January 19th. That's about 38,000 workers have been furloughed until government reopens next week. Um, the uh, fur- furloughed uh, federal workers uh, surveyed uh, mean they will likely uh, get a big uh, dump in the headline uh, payroll report. Uh, perhaps uh, half a million there. That is from a senior economist at uh, Sote Girel in uh, New York. Uh, that is uh, Omar Schaff. That could result in the first bumpy decline on employment since. Uh, September of 2010. It depends on how this is done. You can look at the uh, private sector payroll figures to bypass this distortion, but it uh, creates uh, some uncertainty. We'll watch that. We'll have a numbers man report. We'll have more on that uh, particular situation. Now, this is on the so-called emergency. We were looking at the legal uh, possibilities here. House Democrats are aggressively exploring a possible legal challenge should uh, D.J. Trump uh, declare his emergency. Uh, D.J. Trump said uh, he, uh, he uh, is 100 percent, has the power to build a wall projected a uh, previously uh, said would be financed uh, by uh, Mexico. Well, that's just him. Look at an emergency can't be uh, whenever a president says emergency representative James Racking of uh, Maryland. While some GO uh, Republicans expressed uh, queasiness over the emergency declaration, including uh, old Charles Grassley there. Some others, uh, there's no question it's perfectly legal. That is from uh, Douglas uh, Collin of Georgia. Well, U.S. District uh, Rosemary Collier. Uh, allow the suit to, to go forward us in uh, 2015 that the House had standing to argue that it's a constitutional power to set spending had been violated. Now, this was uh, over uh, President Obama uh, to use federal funds for the Affordable Care Act. Neither the President nor his office can authorize appropriations. The... Uh, Uh, the uh, the asset of the uh, House of Representatives required before any public uh, monies are spent. That's Corey wrote in a case brought against the uh, Human Services Secretary uh, Sylvia uh, Bartwell. 
Lawrence uh, Tribe, uh, Constitution Scholar at Harvard Law School, sent an email that uh, Bartwell's ruling uh, does indeed provide a strong argument that the House could make to support its standing to sue uh, D.J. Trump. The ruling on standing is not binding, but uh, Sam um, Berger, a senior advisor at the Center for American Progress, who was a senior lawyer in the White House uh, Management Office of Management Budget, Budget in the Obama administration, said that a Birdwell uh, ruling had direct reverence. Uh, revelance, excuse me. Uh, both cases involve the same uh, claim. The president spending money that uh, Congress has not authorized. These lawsuits have uh, come up from uh, time to time. Now, New Deal, uh, D.J. Trump backs off his emergency uh, call. It's uh, it's like flipping a coin and he's flipping it. What we are not looking to do right now is the emergency. So he claims one day he does it, uh, an hour and a day. Next day he doesn't do it. You have almost a half million people out there. Uh, and old Lindsey Graham met with uh, D.J. Trump on Friday. The president declares, uh, Mr. President declared an emergency now. He said in a statement, build a wall now. Uh, Graham said the president has uh, gotten sharp pushback uh, from the idea, even from Republicans. Well, uh, uh, yeah, my comment on this is uh, to declare the, alert, uh, the emergency now. A, a part of the reason and what this would do, it's a different type of thinking, but a declaration of emergency would mean that the entire Trump shutdown was for nothing. It accomplished nothing. It means that Trump lost the battle with Congress, and he's just pursued it on his own. So what he's doing is he's extending the battle uh, to the courts and the arena of, of public opinion. But the stratagem of shutting the government down was totally worthless. Now he'll be dealing with things like uh, what Hobby did in Texas, in Puerto Rico, uh, some of the funds he proposes to use. So these are, are things that will uh, come up, and uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a good uh, stratagem. Uh, the governor of Puerto Rico, Ricardo Rossello. Uh, strongly objected to the idea of diverting uh, monies intended for hurricane uh, mitigation. Well, yeah, the, pro- the problem here is this money is, uh, is really sitting there for other things. It affects Texas and Tex- uh, Florida and other national emergencies. So Trump's moving it to a new era. But the important the takeaway from all this is the shutdown, the longest in U.S. history uh, today, uh, was worthless. It was done for nothing. All the pain, suffering, loss of money. And one has to understand, when people lose uh, paychecks, their earning ability, bills are late, they pay uh, late fees. Some may even be evicted from where they live. Their credit uh, can take a hit. There are all these things happening at once. And also with the contract employees, uh, they will not get any money for the most part for days lost. They're just days off. And those people, if they have any options at all, depending obviously on how long they've been with the contractor, will leave now or they will leave as soon as their contracts are up and they recoup their financial standing. So these are some of the things that uh, are happening uh, here. Let me quickly go to Uncle uh, Carl. Where is Uncle? He's somewhere. He's writing in the Wall Street Journal as usual. Uh... Democrats, uh, cynical, no on immigration. This is on the 10th of January. The Democrats uh, say yes to immigration reform. Will they? Uh, They now have an opportunity to do so as D.J. Trump demands funding for additional miles of physical barriers. Now, he doesn't even call it a wall. Uncle Carl's running scared here. But rather than uh, uh, providing Trump's money in return... For immigration changes, uh, they say they want uh, congressional Democrat leaders are rebuffing the requests with uh, focus group uh, tested rhetoric. Now, this is what's called a flippable. In other words, what's happened is Uncle Carl has no doubt seen a focus group's hand and not too focused on his side of the coin. 
The Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, called the wall immoral and effective and expensive. Uh, probably haven't seen uh, some data. Uh, Senate uh, Leader uh, Schumer labeled the wall expensive, ineffective, and at least he revealed the order. Other uh, congressional Democrats are even more dismissive. Senator Harris of California denounced the wall as a vanity project. Representative Max Ross in New York, uh, a 5th century solution to a 20th century problem. I guess it's on the wall of China. Uh, more uh, out is, I remember Jimmy Carter standing at the wall, the Zionists in Israel erected uh, to divide up uh, the uh, Palestinian territories. And he said, well, I could throw a uh, baseball, and uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter could do that, over that wall. And we'll we'll get to it in the last of this broadcast. We'll hear a, a, a portion of an interview on Democracy Now! of the uh, Freedom of Fighter, uh, international uh, civil rights uh, type, the uh, Professor Emeritus uh, from the University of California, Santa Cruz, Dr. Angela Davis. She was awarded uh, the uh, Fred Shuttlesworth Award in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, uh, gala was to take place in February. Uh, some old Zionist types on the uh, in the community there wrote a letter, and this uh, slippy board of Uncle Tom's uh, decided not only to revoke the award but cancel the gala. Dr. Davis will be in Birmingham, Alabama, the second week in uh, February, and there will be a People's Award. And what's happened there is, and this is all about. The uh, boycott of the uh, Zionists uh, due to their inhumane treatment of Palestinians on the West Bank. A boycott. Many uh, artists have boycotted them and academics have boycotted them. But what they've done is, and this is what happens when you become opportunists. And they have become opportunists here for short-term gain. That's like the idea of trying to move... uh, their capital from Tel Aviv, where it should be, to Jerusalem. Of course, Australia beat them to it there by recognizing East and West banks uh, there. Anyway, uh, so now they have the boycott out there. They even had some of their Zionist friends in count in uh, Congress try to bring uh, the um, Red Scare back and uh, outlaw. Uh, People from advocating the boycott of, of Israel, if they did it, uh, they would uh, be uh, penalized by state governments. Well, of course, it failed in the Senate. It's red baiting there, back to McCarthyism. And of the American people, they should have read their history, have always uh, opposed McCarthyism. And resorting to McCarthyism, what that tells me is that's basically that they see they are losing the battle both short-term and long-term. That's the same way uh, with uh, many of these people. Uh, for political reasons, D.J. Trump wanted to block people from a Twitter. Even old Carl Rove has blocked me from his Twitter account years ago. Can't remember why Uncle Carl did this, but we still cover him. Anyway, uh, back to this. Uh, Schumer and uh, his whip, uh, Durbin, uh, and seven of the nine uh, Senate Democrat leadership uh, Amongst the uh, 40 in the upper chamber uh, also voted uh, for that appropriation uh, with its wall f- uh, funding or were they a mall? Oh, he's back here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, if you believe the wall is immoral, ineffective, expensive, and fifth century, why were uh, the uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, the whip, uh, Clyburn, and uh, the caucus chair, uh, Hakeem Jeffers, he's from New York, amongst 111 Democrats, so the 256 House members who voted uh, last March for Homeland Security appropriation that included uh, $1.6 million. That was an accommodation there. It was uh, Senator Barack Obama mistaken in 210 when he praised the passive legislation providing for better fencing. Well, now the fencing is there. But that was a different situation. This is uh, overboard and crazy. Um, Where the presidents uh, Bush and uh, Clinton wrong when they uh, 
were frustrated by rising numbers of uh, border crossings uh, in uh, San Diego, and they constructed most of what is now 46 miles of fence along the border. When we saw people uh, climbing over that and paying attention to it, according to the uh, Customs and Border Protection, illegal crossings in San Diego dropped to 92 percent. In 23 years since the wall went up, illegal trafficking dropped 95%. Well, Uncle Carl has just made the case not to build a wall. Following a Clinton's wall in El Paso, Texas, after uh, Tucson, Arizona, and sectors uh, was finished, illegal uh, trafficking dropped 90% over 50 years. And once in a Yuma, Arizona section, wall was in place. That was on a G.W. Bush it dropped 95% in nine years. Well, effectively, what Uncle Carl has done here, and he needs to put this on Twitter, is that uh, he has proven the point. The number of entries uh, across the so-called border has dramatically dropped. There is no national emergency. Uh, ODJ Trump's just wishing to win. The Democrats appear more eager to use immigration as a... Uh, Political weapon than to resolve the policy issues. That is n- totally incorrect. Democrats help uh, gut the uh, 2007 bipartisan immigration reform uh, championed uh, by uh, G.W. Bush and late Senator uh, Kennedy and uh, McCain. Well, they didn't exactly help to gut this. It's the Republicans that gutted it. Anyway, it almost passed... Um, Says Democrats posturing on immigration rather than on action helps uh, explain why uh, President Obama worried about the Latino turnout in uh, 2012 and why uh, DJ Trump did better than expected amongst Latinos and why a third of Latinos back uh, the GOP uh, today. Uh, well, that is obviously an incorrect. What had happened with President Obama? President Obama was known as a deportation uh, uh, president. What he did was uh, he was uh, his administration notorious for raiding businesses and putting businesses literally out of business. Now they didn't deport the uh, people there that they caught; they just took them away from the job by bus and dropped them off. So, yes, uh, he was uh, hard on border crossing. That was President Obama. There was no doubt about that. But as far as this uh, third of Latinos bank, the GOP, these are mostly uh, Latinos in uh, Florida who are not affected uh, by the wall. They came by plane. So that is a totally uh, different uh, situation there. And Uncle Carl is just grasping for straws. But the only thing he literally has is a straw to grasp for. Let me just check out time here. They're running a little bit over. Uh, Representative uh, Tusi uh, Galbrandt of Hawaii is uh, going to run for president in uh, 2020, she says. She's a Democrat from Hawaii. She announced it on the Van Jones Show. Oh, Van Jones now has a uh, show. She's 37 years old. She arrived six years ago. She's from rural Hawaii. Uh, she's in the National Guard and whatever else there. And we'll obviously have more on her uh, later. She also made surprising allies on the right appearing on Fox News and events organized by the American Enterprise Institute to criticize the Obama's administration foreign policy in ways that uh, raised uh, some uh, Democrat eyebrows, well, she's right about some things. Uh, He had, uh, President Obama in the Libyan uh, situation had joined um, that section uh, that embraced uh, Hillary. uh, Hillary. Anyway, we'll take a a pause here, a station break. WBRN Radio and the Boston Red Network will return in a minute from the Jerry Pippen broadcast booth. Uh, the scores from last night, that would be the 11. The Hawks were at the 76ers in Philadelphia. Hawks 123 to 121 uh, for the Sixers. The Bucks were in Washington. Now uh, the Wizards 113 to 106 for the Bucks. The Pacers were at the Knickerbockers. Pacers 121 to 106 for the Knicks. The Nets were at the Raptors. The Raptors 121 to 105. 
The Cavaliers were in Houston. Houston won 41 to 113 with a blowout there. The Mavericks were at the T Wolves. It was the Mavericks 119 to 115. The Lakers were at the Jazz in Utah. Jazz 113 to 95. The Hornets out in Oregon. Uh, Trailblazers 127 to 96. And the Bulls were at the Warriors. It was the Warriors. Uh, 146 to 107 to the NHL uh, very quickly here. The Sabres and Hurricanes, uh, Hurricanes 4 to 3. The Red Wings and the Winnipeg Jets, Winnipeg Jets 4 to 2. And we all share a little bit of this. We hope. Anyway, the Panthers and Flames is the Flames 4 to 3 over the Panthers. The uh, Penguins of Pittsburgh and the Anaheim Ducks. It was the Penguins, one of our favorite teams, I guess, because of the name. Anyway, 7-4 to four over the Anaheim Ducks, Ducks. And this will do it for us. We'll see you on the Monday morning uh, quarterback. We'll have the uh, latest on uh, jobs, quits, and what have you. And if the uh, federal uh, furlough workers will be dumped, we'll look at it. On a numbers man, that's a financial program on the Boston Red Network and WBRN Radio. We also have an open source report that's almost uh, finished. We're working on a new uh, server, and uh, hopefully we'll have a new we'll have a new server up uh, next week. Our new broadcast says server, so we can better serve you. Take care. Have a good weekend. See you.